Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today is our Southampton Rebuild, episode number 8. Looking at the fixtures, um, it's very much a mixed bag as you look through. I mean, like, just look at the colours. It, it's, it's hit very hit and miss. Um, we are in the Champions League quarterfinals. We are facing Liverpool. I can't see us getting much here. League-wise, nowhere near as good as last season. But in that respect, uh, we are on course to possibly make Europe. The only problem there is, is it's very tight in the table. Um, if we have a look here, you know, between 10th and 7th is, is a big battle. There are four teams there that are... Uh, Battling for that, and you've probably got to say that Arsenal are probably the favourites. I also do have Arsenal in the league coming up. So let's see where we go. Um, where we look at our finances, club is very, very secure. Lots in the transfer budget as well. Um, we will need to make a ball adjustment, I believe, on our wage budget when that comes. Um, and that's mainly because we've got Yannick Carrasco coming to us. So we've just beaten Fulham 3-1 convincingly at home. And now we move on to uh, our toughest challenge yet. We've got to apply for a work permit for him. Yeah, these guys have all been uh, debating about their futures and what's going to happen. And that's going to continue, obviously. So this will be very, very interesting. <laughs> we just can't get this guy our work permit, unfortunately. We're probably going to have to sell him, I think. They did triumph over us last time, but uh, it's fully well expected, to be honest. Liveramento can play. Walker Peters can't. Okay. I'm going to put Teles Magno up top. Larios, Liveramento, Zabani. Okay. All right. I'd love a win. <laughs> I'm not going to joke. I'd love a win. Oh, my Lord. We have. We have won 4-2. We literally went 1-0 down, and then we went ham for the rest of the first half. Wow. I'm under no illusions that we are going to lose the second leg and we're going to go out. But um, what a start. <laughs> what a start that is. Unbelievable. We take that every day of the week. Watford at home now, this is quite, a, every, every game now is so key um, on trying to get back into Europe. Okay. So, Bamba, Stirdle up and Teles Magno, it's nice to have three in there. Right, okay, so I'm keeping my eye on Arsenal who have got Wolves. Interesting game now. I think that's as you were. Atel comes in for Leveramento. Let's have another win, please. Let's keep, keep this roll going. We've won two on the bounce now. 6 0. Absolute drubbing. Bamba, 
Pedro with three, Ward Prowse with two. That is a big, big result there. Now, Arsenal, it actually looked like they slipped up there. They've lost 1 0 to Wolves. It does bring Wolves into uh, the fight for Europe a little bit. So, I think the top 10 is going to practically be secured here. It's just about finding enough to uh, get that seventh spot. Really, really good win, that one. There's no way we can make the... I'll, 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 I'll be in shock. And Newcastle made a big profit. We, we, well, we've made a profit. That's good. Making it sustainable. I think that we're going to be on for an absolute kick in here. And we will go out. And if that's the case, it's fine. We've, we've given it a really, really good go. Pulled abdominal muscle. Thought he would have been involved a bit more than what he has been, to be honest. Okay, so they're going practically back to what they know. We've got a two goal advantage. We score two, the chances are we might end up going through. All right, I'm expecting to go out. I'm just saying that now. And if I do, it's fine. <laughs> but we're giving ourselves a really good chance. And can you believe we have made the semi-finals of the Champions League? We lose 1-0 to a late goal. But I actually don't care. That is a phenomenal result. And the money just rolls in. Now, Real Madrid up next. Now, if I go back to here, you can see that we've actually played Real Madrid. Now, we lost 4-1. We lost 4-1 now, but what gives me hope is that we actually beat them 3-2 away. So, there is hope. I cannot believe that we've made the semi-finals of the Champions League. I'm going to be completely honest with you. So all of these need to be just going to let me move or what? I'll get the director of football to uh, to do his thing now. Signed, so he signed the majority there. I think he signed them all actually. Right, tough one. Got to watch out for Everton as well, who are not playing. We, we, what were they playing in the FA Cup? We need a draw here at least. We're playing quite a different looking side here. Players are obviously very tired and that's fair enough. A draw is probably the best I can hope for here if I'm going to be completely honest. Expecting a loss. It's Arsenal. 4-1, yeah. 
on Carlo Ramos had his, his way Ramos had his way with us. Alright, okay. It was expected. Sheffield United relegated. It's going to be tough to get this seventh spot under no illusions. Especially when Arsenal was slapping us 4 1. We just got to hope that the uh, everything falls our way as such and um, results really can help us out. Arsenal have lost 2 0 to City now, which is a big help for us. So Everton can catch us on points. We, we probably, I mean, it's five games to go. It's all just on who you're playing, I think. I know I've seen that I've got Liverpool and also I've got Newcastle, which are not really big helps, but. That's the side, to be honest, that is probably my best side at the moment. Victor Roque probably factors in there as well, as might Danilo. Expecting a decent win here, hopefully. We have to win. And we do, 3-0, quietly confident. 35 shots. It's quite impressive. Only seven on target is not very good though, but it's a win. And looking at that, Fulham have lost to Tottenham. And I think Arsenal may have uh, lost as well to Manchester United. So it's, uh, it's, it's so, so close. Manchester United will not be taking a UEFA Conference League place for the Carabao Cup. So it'll be taken by the next team. Does that mean it goes to 8th or does that go down to 7th? Because if it goes to 8th, I'll be over the moon. Only time will tell. What also I, I would like to do is um, I'd like to win the Champions League so I can go back into the Champions League. But I can't see that happening. Uh, this is going to be tough. Um, they've raided the Premier League, Real Madrid. They've uh, brought in Declan Rice. They've brought in Kyle Walker. And they've also brought in uh, Bakayo Saka. Okay, so we, we, we've played them twice. We have beaten them. Um, if it was based upon um, an aggregate score, they would have beaten us. So, this is going to be tough. I'm under no illusions there. So, carrying Young Player of the Month, Larios and Magno, second and third. We love that. And his work is back. There's some Premier games going on. So Everton and Wolves are two that are playing now. So I need Newcastle to actually get a result against Everton now. Wolves are not figuring so much. All right, here we go. They're keeping my best lineup. Come on, let's get a result. It'll be a turn up for the books if we can. Ah, two 0 That will probably be the end of our uh, our Champions League campaign. Uh, shame, but 
we've done a lot better. So Newcastle have slapped Everton, which is exactly what we needed. We have a game in hand on Fulham, and we have a three-point advantage over Everton. Only problem is, is we've got Liverpool up next, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, Liverpool at home. We have just beaten these. So, as you can see, our Premier League running, we've got two tough games, and then we've got two games I would expect um, to get results. So, I think if we can get seven points... That should be enough to see us through. Well, I say seven points. I think actually if we can get five, that will be enough to see us into Europe. All right, come on, we've just beaten these, so let's give it another go. So Fulham are at home to Leeds. That probably could be a win for them. Villa. Uh, facing Everton, that could be a win for them. Arsenal away to Leicester, so I expect all wins there. And I've got a tough one, so. Come on, let's have another result against them. Oh, 1-0 loss. Damn. Result-wise, Everton did win. Fulham did lose. And I believe Arsenal have also won. So, it is very, very tight for that last spot right now. Um, three games to go. I've got the uh, goal difference advantage. Uh, Liverpool needed that win because look at their top three. That is tight. Liverpool do have a game in hand, though, there. So, a little bit unlucky there. Um, it's just a case of getting this Madrid game out of the way and then it's all on the league. Um, it's going to be very, very close. I've just got to hope that some of these teams... Okay, so the board are delighted that I have got us a top half finish. Yeah, that's exactly right. Just intrigued about this. It's still looking very, very good. Not been in debt with the club yet, which is really nice to uh, to see, to be honest. He's very interested on loan. He's someone I might be looking for for next season. So you need to do us a favour here, Leicester. Wow, they did as well. That is absolutely massive. It's not going to be easy, but with a bit of luck, and that's exactly right. So we did lose to them at home last time, and we did beat them away. So... Here goes nothing. We need to score at least two. I can't see it, if I'm honest. And whatever happens, they've done really, really well. We've lost 2 nil again. I, I'm not disappointed. I'm really not. We've received £10 million pounds for that. Yeah, I'm not too upset because we made the semi-final for Champions League, and uh, that weren't um, that weren't easy. So on our finances, yeah, forty-three million pound now. Uh, it's looking very, very nice. Just going to adjust our budget a little bit, just because I know. We have a player coming in. There's no doubt going to be some uh, some exits from the club as I look to try and rejuvenate it again. 
World Under 21 Footballer Award. Arsenal Everton. Oh, if there's ever a draw I need, it's that one. Fulham away to Chelsea is going to be a tough one. Walker Peters Larius. Okay. I think a draw here is exactly what's needed. I, it's going to be tough. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. That is such a good result for us. And Arsenal and Everton drew. That is a turn up for the books. It's looking very, very good. We got three points on Arsenal. So we need three points in one of our next two games. So that's a Southampton manager that's actually now the manager of England. I can't pronounce his name. Hus Tyler or something like that. But I'll be happy going into the Conference League. Might even have half a chance at winning it, you know. So we've got Villa away who are practically relegated. I might, I might be wrong. I'll tell you what, they might have some players that are... Uh, might have relegation release clauses. I'm just going to have a cheeky little look, you know. Like, who they've got. Because they will have players who are not going to want to be there. Just for an example here, here's one now. Coutinho is not for sale. Uh, he's got a relegation wage drop. Is not for sale. Douglas Louise. Tendonka. Ollie Watkins. See, they've all got relegation wage drops. Now, not for sale for them. Diego Carlos. I didn't realise he was 31. Right, OK. I mean, they might not even get relegated. I don't know about looking at the league, but... There could be some players there that I might... Uh... Oh, yeah, they're relegated. Yeah, yeah, they're gone. But it might be well worth having a look at some there. Arsenal v Tottenham. It's in our hands anyway. I'll be happy with a draw here and then a win, win against Bournemouth. But as long as we get a result here, we will be fine. We've lost 2-1. And Arsenal have beaten Tottenham. It's all on the last day of the season for that seventh spot. And Everton are not out of it yet. We've got five on the goal difference. It could literally be down on goal difference. Well, as you can see there, Tellez Magno seems to be the absolute boy on stats for us this season. Liverpool crown champions. All right. Very interesting. I'd love to see us in Europe. Okay. Calling us rivals. I don't think they're our rivals really.
the only reason why they're rivals is purely because of a uh, geographically transfer spend 20 million pounds a bit better than liverpool's 156 million so arsenal are away to watford and possibly everton sheffield united so i have probably got the hardest game Schlerdlup is not going to be involved, no? Right. Whole season boils down to this one game. Just a win. Two, two. Now I'm looking on the right hand side and I actually think that we may have done it even by bottling that last game. A Salisu own goal. But I think that Watford have got a result against Arsenal which has actually saved them from the drop. Can you believe it? <laughs> and with 10 men as well. So we have managed to finish 7th and I believe that is a European spot for us which is very very lucky. So last game of the season basically looking at this uh, Watford got that draw against Arsenal which saves them and gives us um, the uh, conference league spot. So we've been given £27 million pounds for finish, finishing 7th, which isn't bad. Norwich have gone. And that is the end of our season. I'll go to our tactics. Boys are knackered, which I fully expected. How does it look on our... We've got £20 million. Pounds. We, we will, we'll probably see if we can boost that up to around 40 I'm um I'm quite happy with, uh, with that. So, Teles Magno has won the English Players Young Player Award. Love to see it. Wow, so the board have set the initial wage budget at 2.3 million and the transfer budget at 56.5 million pounds. We've got Carrasco coming in. That's going to boost up the wings. He may even uh, knock out one of my younger players, which is not ideally what I want, but... End of season review. Neto, he's done well, but he's not going to be getting much football out of us much longer. He's 34. Just wanted to bring him in for that bit of experience. Uh, Victor Roque down the bottom there, by the way. 14 goals, a good, good uh, return. <clears throat> Moments to remember, 6-0 against Watford, 3-0 against Rennes. I mean, like, uh, goal of the season was Ward-Prowse. Me, personally, the game of the season there was beating Liverpool 4-2 at home in the Champions League. And also 3-2 away against Madrid. Uh, really, really good. Um, everything's on the up there, which is really, really good to see. Um, we've obviously grown... As well in stature as a club, which is massive. That's our best lineup for the season. It practically is the lineup I use for the majority of the season. Accolades, player of the season, and young player goes to Magno. 
Uh, sign of the season goes to Neto. Goal of the season goes to Ward Prowse. Pedro top scorer. Assist is Magno. Player of the match is Magno. Highest average ratings Magno. Passes completed. Um, record breakers. So Magno gets 15 assists. Ward Prowse. Really not a very good uh, uh, discipline level there. Uh, ultimately successful seasons for Southampton started superbly and set them up perfectly for what was to follow. And Southampton owe everything to a fantastic start to the season. Didn't think it was actually that great if I was honest, but uh, I can't knock it to be honest. So best 11. It's not going to let me scroll down to have a look at it. No. <clears throat> So what are they expecting? Club culture, a five-year plan, work within wage budget, challenge for the conference league, top half finish. We've got to work towards qualifying. Okay, so basically they're just looking at us to, to be qualifying for Europe nearly every season now, which... It's fine. End of season break, and we are going to China. So now what I need to do is I'm going to check to see if I can domestically approach any players coming up on the end of their contract. All right, I just need to hit the board and just see. We can improve the training facilities. Not worried about any of those. Recruitment. That's on my short list. What about player search? Dominguez. Doesn't look too bad. Let's just see. You're not going to get that much, mate. The one thing I believe I want to be looking at is a centre half. I just feel as though I haven't really got anything beyond um, Salisu really there. Bamba can play there. Um, I believe my full backs at three stars is not too bad to be honest. Uh, Larios will get better as time goes. Good, I've got good depth in there, and I've got really good depth here. But I feel as though I really need another centre half, and I was going to say maybe another forward. Um, I don't know yet because I've got Carrasco coming in. Oh, look at that. A lot of players are coming in now. I will probably lose him. And if I do, I do. It's it's no problem. Do 
Dortmund and Porto. I think the chances are that um, he will probably more than likely go to someone like Dortmund. And if he does, that's absolutely fine. So we've got four players called up for the European Championship. Only interested really in three of them. I just need to check out Bednarak. Does he have a mandatory, right? There's an optional. Danilo and Neto. Surprised there's not more, if I'm honest. Because I've got quite a contingent of uh, Brazilian stars. Facilities are good enough. You're losing that straight away, mate. So, if we go to recruitment, we're going to go into the recruitment focus and we're just going to see what they can uh, possibly get out there for us. So, we're looking for a centre half fucking eventually get there. And we're going to create one for a goalkeeper. Because I feel as though that's somewhere where I need to boost up eventually. And the next one I'm going to look at, although I do have some names in mind, I'm going to have a look at strikers. So they think for Farner still. But he's worth so much money. Oh, I didn't want to go to a sell I I wanted to go to Fafana, see how he's sort of developing. Okay, I don't think there's much chance of me getting him there. Okay, let's have a look here. No, that's completely... What? Why did that even go to there? This is the man we want to be looking at. He's got some really good physical stats. He can play in a number of positions. He's got a fair few clubs interested. He's got some good clubs interested as well. Thirteen point seven five million. So what is I'm a little bit confused. It comes up with that green. Oh, active relegation release clause. Oh, we've got to snap him up for this. For such a cheap price, you can't not. He looks really good for... Let's see if I'm getting down to a squad player, which just just because I'm not actually picking the side. Right, we'll give you 60k. I'll just up it just so um, if other teams come in for him. But he looks really good for that price. 
And do you know what? Worst comes to worst, we might even be able to make some money off of him. That's kind of where I feel like I'm at with Southampton. It's kind of making money. And if we can... Uh, uh, that'll be good. So Forrest and Watford have made offers. And they have accepted... Right, all of these boys are set for a release. Mourinho steps down from Roma. Young player of the month from Tellers Magno. Now there is one other centre half who I have brought on my Liverpool save. I just want to have a look at him. Because if I can get this guy in, he will make a, such a big improvement in our side. Is he still here? Is sort of the... He is. He's asking to leave. He wants a new contract. He's barely played. I'm going to make an offer. Wow, is that all they want? 22 million and a little bit of extra on top. Okay. So if I offered you 25... That could be a cracking bit of uh, business here. You're not having him back on loan, <laughs> unfortunately. £50. Are you sure about that? Right, now I'm going to reset it all because that was pretty ridiculous. Big signing on fee. He's a big player for us, don't get me wrong. That way it does allow the likes of Lever, uh, Leveramento, uh, Bednarek and a few others to go down. We need a bit more depth <coughs> in those positions. Uh, Real Madrid have lost in the Champions League final. Bayern Munich take that one home. Okay, we've got an extra 5 million quid. We've also been given an extra 3 million quid, so it's just so massive there, getting it. Southampton have qualified for the Europa League. Might I add why? <laughs> we were conference league, weren't we? Dominguez is coming to us. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm certainly not knocking that. So why have we gone into the Europa League? I'm, I'm more than happy with the Europa League. I feel as though we can have a really good go in that, but I thought it was going to be Conference League. No bother. I'll play wherever in Europe. I'm just 
just happy to be there, to be honest, to get some money into the club and try and win some stuff with this club. So we've got Dominguez coming in. We've also got Mosquera as well, which is a a good good little bit of business as well, I believe. Okay, so sources have gone that Kira has gone back to the Reds to see. Okay. So he might end up going to Forest, and he has gone to Forest. So you've got a lot of contract clauses in there by the look of things. So we've got 30 recommendations. It's now, for me, it's, it's, it's about buying players like this, young players who are going to really improve the side. And in sort of maybe another couple of years, they're going to be absolute bosses. Tiago Tomas. Rosia, three and a half. Okay, I might have to have a little look at that. In a deal worth 5.5 million. Ah, oh, look, he's got minimum relief aid clauses and all sorts in there. Teles Magno. Linked with Dortmund. So, Rafinha to Chelsea. Tottenham are going for too few many. Brighton are looking to bring Magno. And we've been in, in uh, linked with Helenio, Target and Ramsey. Not going to lie, I'm not interested in any of them. By the way, look at our wage budget. That's, that's incredible. We we really need to uh, adjust that. Antonio Silva is in. At Southampton now. Twenty five million pound is a new transfer record. Pochettino can look elsewhere. So my next job is to have a look at the contract side of things again. It's a small bone. Here, here are the players that I really kind of at out, really not that worried about. Johnson, we are going to offer out. Oh, Johnson. Armstrong, we are going to offer out. We'll see if we can get, get him gone for about £10 million. Zep no exactly the same. We've been, we've been trying to get rid of this guy for a long, long time. It's just a case of getting them off the books. Fifty k a week. Bednarak, I will offer out. What is his? 
guide value is 18 and a half mil. No, I don't want to. No, I've done the wrong thing, as always. Neto will stay, but I am looking for a goalkeeper. I'm actually going to be looking to try and offload Beljo. He's not playing. He's played a little bit, but he's not scoring goals. Uh, we have the opportunity to even make some decent profit on him as well. I will offer him out for £15 million and just see what we get back out of that. We'll leave it at that for the time being and we'll see what happens. I've just seen that there's a, been a couple of offers there. Armstrong, worth £10 million. A couple of clubs are coming with six. I'll accept them. Not particularly happy about it. They're offering 5.75. Yeah, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be losing about just under a million pounds on that. <clears throat> there are clubs interested in him. Beljo, I'm going to offer out for 10. I was just trying to maximise the amount I could possibly uh, get for him. Now you're taking the mick. <laughs> <clears throat> you can't let him go for that like this, unfortunately. The Barney for Leipzig, eh? have to keep my best players at the club I want to make it a success I'm under no illusions that, um, I will lose players and I have to replace them when the time comes Bednarak it's been emotional but I'm glad to see the back of you <laughs> I really really am I'm just intrigued to know how much money a week he was on with us. Oh, Bednarak. It's got to be at least 100k. 60k. So we've got some players on their way out. Masengo, I'm going to have to offer out as well. I'm not overly happy about this, but we're, we're playing a man that we can't even play as such. So he does need to go. We did pick him up for nothing. So whatever we can get for him, we can get for him. Happy with what looks like a good lineup to a squad. Oh, having a bit of a nightmare there. I mean, if I base on position, come on, please don't do this. So we were right for a right back. We're good there. Larios is a good left back. Atal is my right back there. Also Walker Peters. 
it's uh, is it a striker. Joe Pedro is doing really well, to be honest. Um, I do feel as though I do need a, another striker. Although Victor Rocket, I might, do you know what? I might uh, have a little inquiry on Hendrick for the future. Ballard going to West Ham United. Still intrigued to know why we're in the Europa League and not in the Conference League. <clears throat> He's done it again. Carson's going to Cambridge. I've accidentally hit that track is performances again. Lap, who no matter where I get him in what save, he always ends up picking up a load of injuries. It's completely normal. Frustrating, but completely normal. So roughly working out, we can, uh, per episode, we're roughly running three months just by skipping the games. Which is ideal. It, it cracks on the, the, the save. Um, and it, it, it makes a lot of sense just to sort of get the rebuild going a small reputation boost which is fine Southampton right back to Tino Livramento's buyback clause for 40 million to Chelsea is about to expire in a week's time wow that's going to be interesting because they have certainly got the money that's for certain Henderson. Right, okay. So we're going to end the, end the video in, in, a, in a moment. Europa League quarter final, top half finish, quarter final, quarter final. So they're expecting more out of me now. Molder. They got some good players at Molder. We will just OK here and forward. We'll accept that. We have just received £80 million. <laughs> Love to see that. Not a bad start to the season. We've got some uh, Chinese friendlies. And that will be enough for today's video. Overall, uh, really happy that we've uh, got back into Europe, uh, secured ourselves top ten. We've got we've brought in we're bringing in two really good players in Silva and Carrasco. Uh, I think there might be one more, but we'll we'll wait and see on that one. Um, very successful for after two seasons, I believe. But just to clarify on our finances, we are sitting at seventy eight million pounds. We are doing very well in that respect, and also. When it comes to recruitment, we still got 22 million and still a healthy wage budget there. Uh, that will do for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like if you have, or, um, if, if it really helps the channel. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, turn those bells on if you want to know a video goes live. Uh, please take care and have a great day.